if you want to create awesome thumbnails and visuals that instantly grab attention, in this video we are combining the power of Kaling AI and Canva to craft stunning thumbnails that will make your videos stand out all for free. The secret to a captivating thumbnail often lies on a strong visual. We will start by creating an expressive face using Kaling AI. We will input a prompt like shocked face with white eyes or excited face with open mouth, but I created a special prompt that I will give you in this video. I did lots of rinse and repeat to get the final prompt, but of course you can make it better and I will be glad if you come back here and post your prompt in the comments below. And here is exactly the final version that I ended up with for that prompt. Of course, you can play with the first section here to specify exactly what you need to see on the image and keep the rest of the prompt as it is because it's instructions to the AI to get the best of it. For this example, I am doing create a YouTube thumbnail featuring a close up of an Asian girl with a bright red hair. Uh, centered on the left side of the image. She should have surprised and slightly happy expression with an open mouth uh, with her face taking up a significant portion of the left side. I don't know why this is not working. It's always in the middle of the uh, image. If you find the solution for this, just um, post it in the comment section below. The background should be white and clean with the right side of the image completely empty, leaving space for text or additional elements. Use bright natural background color to ensure the empty space is visible and usable. So the rest of the prompt is giving instructions uh, to the AI to get the best thumbnail possible. Now let's go ahead, copy this prompt here, give it to Kaling AI and see what happens. I will then show you how to use the face and the expressions and produce a thumbnail on Canva. Let's copy everything here. So control A and I will copy the text. I'll put down this and I go to AI images, click here, and then you will paste your thumbnail, uh, your prompt right here. And then there is nothing else to do. You just choose the format here, 16 by 9, and then click on this button here to generate the image. So let's wait a few seconds and see what it gives us. So here is exactly what we got, five versions of the image, and you can see it's a stunning image. And human expressions are actually are very important in YouTube thumbnails because they attract lots of clicks. Look, this is the second version, this is the third version, and the fourth version. I think that the second version is good. There is some yellow here and some green here. So we want to now download this image here and use it on a thumbnail. Let's click on this button here to download it and then it will open up here on my screen and as you can see it is amazing quality. You can of course reuse the same prompt to see other versions. Look at the, what I did with the same prompt. Look at the difference. Here are some different faces. Here are some others. Here is this one. I even made one with a purple hair. So if I go here, look at this blue hair and look at this, the backgrounds. If you want to keep the background, you just slightly change the prompt to keep the background. Now the next step is to use the image on Canva to produce a high quality YouTube video thumbnail. And please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you found better prompts for generating YouTube thumbnails, please post them in the comment section below so everyone will be able to use them. And by the way, the prompt that I just used is in the description below this video so you can copy it. And now we want to switch to canva.com and use a pre-designed YouTube thumbnail template as a starting point. So all you have to do is create a new free account on canva.com. If you don't have one, you don't have to upgrade and search here on the search bar for YouTube thumbnails. And you will see this section here 
with lots of YouTube thumbnails and you want to find a pre-designed YouTube thumbnail to use. I like to choose in this situation uh, thumbnails that have like text standing out. I mean, like for example, this one or this one, they have good texts on them. Let's choose this one here, for example. If I click on this one here, I can use it, of course. I will customize this template like this. It will open on a new window. And what we want to do is remove everything and keep just the text. So let's remove this image of this girl. Let's remove these stars here and let's remove even the background. So click on the delete button. It will go away and you do the same for everything. You want to move the text to the right hand side. Just do this. And then we want now to bring the image that we created on Kaling AI. So you want to click on the upload button right here. And then you want to upload files here and then you go search for the image you want to use. Let's use this one here, for example, or this one here. I have too many of them. So once it's loaded, you just click on it like this and you resize it, of course, to make it fit all the space. And you do just like this. That's too much. So let's push it to the left side. We want to have a maximum space on the right side for the text. Now, you see here the background is white completely at the, at the right hand side. We want to give him the same color as this background of this image. So you just click on the background and you click on this icon here for the color. And then you want to click actually, let me, this one here. No, that's too much. Let's click on this one here. That's okay. Now what you want to do is resize the text and put your own text. Let me, for example, replace this one with Kaling AI. And then just do this and push it to the right side. I will just do this to push it to the right side. And then here we want, let's keep it make money online, just like this. This is just an example, but you can, of course, change the text as you wish. What you need to do, maybe use it a little bit at the bottom here. And also this one comes here. And then you can add an image here on top or a logo or something. Uh, let's use this one here. And uh, this image here, it says AI. So let's put it right here. And here you go, guys, you have a thumbnail. It needs some work, of course, but at least you have a starting point. When you're done with this, all you have to do is click share and then you click download right here. The uh, size is good and you click this button here, download, and it will download to your computer as you can see here, and it will open. This is the thumbnail that we just made using Kaling AI and Canva. If you have any questions, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check all the resources in the description. The prompt will be in the description actually.